Welcome back, bowlers. Today we have three tips for beginning bowlers and a great refresher for everyone. Tip number one, we talk about bowling balls. Notice I've got a red and black bowling ball. This is your typical house ball. Beginners, when you first start bowling for the first time, this is what you're gonna see at the bowling center. These are low performance bowling balls. They're very durable. You put your whole hand, your fingers, your thumb all the way in the bowling ball. The grip really doesn't fit you. And they go from point A to point B on a very straight line. It's very difficult to knock down pins when you can't get the ball to hook. And the other ball, that we want you to go look at and see a, a local certified pro shop operator is a high performance ball. This ball, the outside, it does have uh, characteristics for the ball to hook. The inside's much different. There's a lot of physics. The core structure is very dynamic. Your grip, we call this a fingertip grip. Just the ends of your fingers, the first joint goes in, thumb goes all the way in. It's very secure. Your thumb's gonna come out. You're gonna be able to spin the ball. Now we're gonna get the ball to hook, which is very important for you to increase your pins on your score. So we have two very different bowling balls. Beginner, this is a high performance. This is the one you gotta go see your local pro shop operator and go purchase. So we chose uh, number one, the bowling ball. The second thing, and it's very underrated, is coaching and sport of bowling. Hey, we are just like any other sport. You've got to go see a certified coach who knows the games, who can put you from the start to the finish and really start developing those skills. So important. Where do you find that coach? I would recommend go see some of your local higher average players. They'll kind of direct you into a specific coach. If you can't, we've actually got a link at the end of this video that you can get involved with and that'll actually help you as well. But very important, you can see a coach, you got to get on a regular basis so you can develop those skills so you can improve where you are right now to a competitive bowler. So we're gonna talk about the third tip on going from a beginner to a competitive player. It's the release, getting the ball to spin off your hand so we can see it hooked on the lane. We've got the high performance ball, so we've got all the capability. Now we gotta get our hands so it's underneath to the center of the bowling ball. This is a great drill. Just put your left foot for right-handers into the left gutter hand on the knee and you just want to spin it off your hand. Notice how the ball is spinning right off my hand. Catch it. Do that until you can start feeling that hand really spinning. Thumbs coming out. Now you're going to start seeing some hook going down the lane. It's really going to start adding pins to your score. We saw the first tip where you've actually got to go see the pro shop operator. So that operator can put you in the right bowling ball. And then the third tip is get that ball to spin off your hand so we can create some hook to add some pins to your score. And then number two is go see a certified coach. If you can't find a coach, you click on the link below. I'm involved with an online coaching community with three of the best coaches in the world. We would love to give you a seven day free membership so we can take a look at your game and start developing it so you can create those skills that the great players have, and we can really improve your overall bowling base. You can become a great player. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully you learned something you can apply to your game. Do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Also, if you'd like to get backstage access to our coaches, you can join our online community at backstagebowling.com. Use the coupon code SAVE20 to save $20 off an annual subscription. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.